Mike, you have another win, another good performance, 3-0 against a, a Bolton side. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I thought the first half, Charlie, we were very good. Uh, I was disappointed we didn't go in. At least one more goal up. We counter-pressed them and regained the top end of the pitch, which we thought we would. And we didn't really have that clinical edge, really, although we scored two good goals. So, you know, that sounds bizarre, doesn't it, really? But in terms of second half, it was always going to be a bit different. The wind was coming, the rain was coming. You know, and that I said to the group in there that you know they, they took it out their own hands to, to potentially go a little bit longer. But I said we've got to feel them longer passes into the strikers because we ain't got six foot three, six foot four centre forwards who can get hold of the ball. You know, we've got players who can get hold of it, but it's got you know when it's high and you know their defence coming over the top. So, but again, look, they took it on themselves that we need to get up the pitch, we need to get out, and you know that's fine. I, you know, I'm happy with that. I thought once we you know we made one or two more passes in the second half, then we we were fine uh, and we broke their press, but. Again, I thought the first half was fantastic. Second half, give Bolton a bit of credit. They come out, they had a goal, nothing to lose. Um, but I thought the game should have been put to bed earlier than, than that, really. Even early on in the second half, we had some good chances. So, look, really pleased. Another three points. Uh, place was bouncing when, again, 13,500. Fantastic. Credit to the ground staff for getting the, you know, making sure the pitch was right. There was a bit of water on it yesterday with a bit of rain and the Verta train did. And, but that's what happens when you've got good ground staff and a good pitch. And it, it, it takes its toll and uh, you know, it can take that, that, that with pressure of, of, of rain. And they've definitely done a fantastic job, so well done to them. Yeah, I was going to mention that because the amount of rain over the last couple of days has been incredible. Um, to play the way we did in those conditions, though, I mean, that's, that, uh, that's, that, that's kind of, you've got to applaud that, really. You, you have, yeah, and you've got, to, you know, you've got to mix it up. And we mixed it up. We, we went long, went short, and got Jordi on the ball. And, you know, they were coming on a front press, and they, they went a little bit, um, how can I say it? They went a bit on the front foot, but not re- with nothing to lose, basically. And once we'd, if we'd had that clinical one pass, we, one pass would have got us in. In fact, two passes, a set and a pass, and then you're in. Uh, we, we rushed it a little bit because we hadn't had the ball back for, for we hadn't had the ball for a little while. And then when we got it back, we need to make make sure we looked after it. Uh, we didn't do that well enough. But yeah, we, we'll always keep trying to do the right things. Um, but the first half performance was, was very good. Second half was good in different ways. Um, and obviously the conditions, but I thought we were fantastic all round. Just a, a quick one on the fans again, because the weather the weather was pretty atrocious. But it kind of adds to it, doesn't it? When the weather's a bit bad, the, the side's doing well, the crowd seems to love that. Sort of yeah, thing. it does, doesn't it? I think, uh, you know, fair play. There was a lot of kids by me in the main stand that were soaking wet. So, but look, that's part and parcel of going to football matches, in it? And they're coming to watch their football, beloved Plymouth Argyle Football Club. And when you're getting three points and you're performing like that, then, then it's great for the minute. So... Long may that continue. I think they'll, they'll get home and dry themselves off tonight and, and they'll say tomorrow morning it was well worth it.